Wait, wait, by the way, <clears throat> I'm still looking at chat because it, it, it's just stuck here now, like, on my stream. But, um, Penguin Zero and Moist Critical, are they the same per they're the same person? Okay, that's why I, I listen to the Penguin Zero videos where he just, like, riffs on somebody <laughs> for a while. For, like, four or five minutes. But I, I didn't... The Karen videos, yeah. That was one that he... So, you were talking about the Yu-Gi-Oh one. Yu-Gi-Oh have such a love-hate with love-hate relationship with because one of his thumbnails, like the title of it said, uh, or one of his videos, the title said, "Why Yu-Gi-Oh is the best anime," and I was like, "I can't hit play on this," <laughs> like on principle. I was like, "I can't do it, man." <laughs> I think Yu-Gi-Oh is. I think Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, combined with the fact that I generally don't like anime. I don't just look, seek it out anymore. What I will say about Yu-Gi-Oh! is that I think that it was... It's not that it got worse. I think it's just that I just kind of lost interest with it. You know, like, it's... But, like, I could talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and it's... They're interesting... What the fuck is going on? There are interesting things about Yu-Gi-Oh! But I think, for me, it's just kind of more fun to make fun of now. Dude, there, there were, like, no rules, dude. <clears throat> dude, the... The best... Oh, and he just launched it. Yeah, he just launched the knight, dude. But the Yu-Gi-Oh thing, it's, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh thing, it's, it's, okay, did you ever see that Twitch video where they, they, everybody watched, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? They ran, like, the 24-hour thing? That's when Yu-Gi-Oh is fun, is when everybody's clowning on it, dude. Like, when Weevil <clears throat> takes, uh, Yu-Gi's Exodia cards and he rips them up and throws them off the boat. It's, like, it's like, like, that's funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, when you're, when you're watching that with, like, like thousands of other people, you'd be like, I would kill this man, dude. There's one Exodia deck, and it, like, any no one has Exodia except for Yugi, and this guy rips it up. I'd be like, I'm gonna kill you. Like that's exactly what's gonna happen now. Yeah. He's like, let me see. And the we Weevil's like, let me see your Exodia cards, and then he's like, oh yeah, sure, dude, that's cool. He's like, ha, now they won't be able to be used against me. But I'm killing you, dude. Like I'm gonna strangle you with your hair. Oh, dude, we are getting, we are getting fucking blasted in this game, dude. We need, like, a gold ring. Something, something I'm kind of surprised never became a meme out of all of the Yu-Gi-Oh things that became memes is... Um, the phrase, heart of the cards, guide me. Because you know, like, like the whole, like, uh, oh shit, the golden ring! Oh my god, we just caught the fuck up. <laughs> I just got it. Um, there, I, I've never seen one, so like, what, like, now that I've seen one, I was like, oh, it sticks out like a sore thumb. But like, so in Yu-Gi-Oh, like, you know, the thing that people end up remembering is kind of like the joke of the show is, it's a trap. Or no, not, not it's a trap, it's the, uh, You've activated my trap card. But, like, dude, the whole heart of the cards thing, I'm surprised that didn't become a meme because that's literally, like, a Hail Mary. That's exactly what heart of the cards means. Dude, I, I used to say that when I when I played Hearthstone. Like, I would, like, I'd be like, listen, I need Tyrion forging right now, heart of the cards. And when I drew him, I'd be like, ooh, baby. But I'm surprised it just didn't, like, because Heart of the Cards, all it really means, if you were to turn it into a meme, is just, like, it's it just means Hail Mary. Like, I'm going for it. <laughs> oh, man. But instead, like, what ended up being, like, a meme was, like, magical hats. <laughs> See, that's the thing. 
that's the thing too like when you watch that like i remember i thought that was so cool like there, it might be the same thing you're talking about there's a similar scene where kaiba like some so the 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 scene is there's a guy that's holding mokuba captive which is kaiba's younger brother and the guy is gonna he has like this remote and he's gonna kill this little kid and kaiba throws a goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh card at him and like hits him in the hand so he drops his remote and when I was a kid, or, you know, when I was watching the show and I was serious about it, I'd be like, oh, damn, what a move. But, like, when you see it now, you're like, what the fuck? Like, he threw a card at him? He's like, gotcha, bitch. Hit him in the hand, too. Well, also, like, there's only, like, if I'm not mistaken, there's only, like, fucking three, four of these. And Yugi's grandfather had the fourth one, so it's like... It's not even like, it's almost like, not even sell it, it's almost like, he said, I tore it up so it could never be used against me. Like, what? Just keep it. <laughs> like, if you, if, like, if you have it, like, it's stuff like that that's like, when you watch it, you're like, oh, this is funny. But then you're like, oh, no, I'm sorry, you're thinking like, oh, man, like, what an evil dude. But then you reflect back on it, and you're like, what an idiot, this guy. <laughs> oh, my God, I got it. Did I win? Yeah, I won. I got a crown. Only three hours in. See, that's the thing. I rarely win in this game, but when I do, it's like, hell yeah. That's another That's another meme that should have, like, really taken off. I'm sending you to the Shadow Realm. You know, and it's funny, because I didn't know that when I watched it initially. Because it's all censored. So I didn't know that, it, that that's what it meant. Um, until, like... I don't know, years afterwards. Dude, one of my favorite, like, sequences in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it was so dark. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! was dark, we get it. But, like, there was something that happened in Yu-Gi-Oh! that was, like, insanely dark. And it was when... <clears throat> it was in the duelist... Uh, dual city, like, event. The one where, like, they were running around with the, like, dual things, like, attached to their arms. And, um... There was a scene where, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! had to... Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi had to face off against, um this like jester clown guy and they had to like go in this like tent and like fight each other and then they got like ankle bracelets so that they couldn't move and then there was like these saws that were like gonna go and like cut their legs off <laughs> like i remember when they got to that in the show i was like yo it's a card game well it goes back to what you're saying like they make that shit up as they go like they they already established in the show that there's three blue eyes white dragons right and then he, and then Kaiba just goes, but no one's ever combined them into one before. And he combines them. <laughs> like, yeah, and, and the, yeah, it's like, it can be done. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, you, you are the only person that have all three of them. Also, if, if you could do that with three of them, why are there four? Like, why are there four of these things printed if, like, you if you only need three to do it? I mean, that's that's the joke. That's why Yu-Gi-Oh is funny. That's why I'm saying, like, it's it's like when somebody goes, "It's the greatest episode, uh, anime of all time." It's like it's definitely not, but it's a, it's fun to make fun of. It's it's really funny to make fun of. I think Yu-Gi-Oh GX is the one where like they uh they go to the schools. They have like the different schools, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't watch that one. Like, I think. I think I was young enough to wear, like. Oh, dude! These hot dogs are appearing in front of me. Um, <clears throat> I think I was young enough that, like, or old enough, I guess I should say that, like, I. I definitely started getting out of the appeal of of Yu-Gi-Oh at that point. I was like, I mean, I get it, you know, and also, there. I, I mean, I guess I was just one of those people where it's just like it's not as good as the original, but, um. I guess I was also, like, weirdly... I didn't get anime back then. Because the thing that was weird about Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that the original show hadn't ended yet. Like, it just stopped being aired because the Japanese stopped giving episodes to the US. So it never finished. But then there was this other anime that, like, is, like, decades after it. And it's like, what? What's going on here? Like, why is this thing? Well, there's one of them that's, like... There's one of them that's definitely, like, like a hundred years after or something weird like that. I heard about that. There was somebody who did like a Yu-Gi-Oh! timeline 
and it is trash. Like, if you if you ever look into the Yu-Gi-Oh! timeline, you're just like, it makes you want to just say, like, just stick with the original, and then whatever everything else is just whatever. I'm not going to make it, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, another anime that's like that. I mean, the only other one that's like that where you can watch it with a, a bunch of, like, Twitch people, and you'll just make fun of it constantly. They did it with Poke, dude. Pokemon is like so. The funny thing is that they did Pokemon first, right? And then I was thinking, no, they did Power Rangers first, the original Power Rangers. And then I was thinking, man, what else can we make fun of? And then Pokemon got announced, and I was like, there's no top in that. And then they did Yu-Gi-Oh, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> dude, that's the saddest fucking episode of all time of anything. It's the saddest episode, I think, ever. If somebody's like, what's the saddest thing you've ever seen in your life? And be like, episode five of Pokemon with the Charmander that's waiting for the trainer and the trainer doesn't come back for him. That's the saddest fucking thing. Oh man, they are fumbling this golden egg. Because the second episode, if I recall correctly, is the episode where Pikachu hates Ash's guts and he's not listening to him. And then he's like trying to get him to the Pokemon Center and because he won't go in the Pokeball, he's like, in the basket on the bike and then he like hits a pothole and he like falls down and the spear were chasing him and shit that's another really sad one he's like trying to carry the pokemon yeah yeah i mean i get what you mean like i, I get what you mean like pokemon is kind of and especially Yu-Gi-Oh, but like they're they're the kind of anime where like someone could not know it's anime and watch it digimon's another one yeah it's it's like somebody could watch digimon and just think it's like an american cartoon if they didn't know any better yeah, this guy's a soda can. I like that. Yeah, I don't know if we have too many uh, other, like, anime that are like that now. Like, that that are kind of like... I mean, because there's popular anime, like, My Hero Academia is like that. You know, like, that's another really popular one. No. <clears throat> yeah, no, My Hero Academia, I mean, you'd think it would be, because it's about high school kids. But all the shonen anime are kind of like that to an extent.